Hey girl, hey, and welcome to part number three of this realistic clean and declutter with me series. In this series, I want to give you bite-sized decluttering motivation to get you up and going and moving and ready to tackle your own mess because 2024 is the year that our houses stop giving us anxiety. So let's go ahead and start working through this process and get it done. So if you're excited, click the thumbs up button and let's get into the cleaning motivation. So the first decluttering project that we're going to work on is my toddler's dress up station. So I want to make it minimized so that it's easier and less stressful for her to clean up when she's finished playing dress up, which is basically all day long. So if you have one of those kids, you completely understand this, but I'm going to get started and start sorting it into piles of costumes, accessories, shoes, and then I can start to pare down. Or if I don't want to declutter something, I can always institute some sort of rotation of the costumes. And that way we have out three this week and then next week we can switch it up and have out a different three and just do a little bit of a rotation. I can always store those in her closet, but that's what I'm going to start doing is sorting these items out. the costumes have been sorted through that feels a lot better a lot more manageable I've just consolidated it all to one basket I used to have one that was for accessories and one that was for costumes and I've just put it all into one basket that way it's a lot easier for her to just put it all in there and exactly where it goes I've got a couple spots for hanging up like necklaces bracelets um, and then like their purses but that's it the rest of it just pops in the basket that way it's easy and a four-year-old it's age appropriate for a four-year-old to clean up basically so that's the goal here is to make it age appropriate in their rooms for their cleaning so i don't want to make it super complicated now i'm going to run through her closet and pull out anything that i know is not fitting too small whether that be donate or we're going to move it to sister's closet whatever that is let's do a run through of these clothes starting to make some progress and filling up the bag with things that aren't fitting and we're just not keeping. I have a pile of things that's going to my two-year-old closet and this is feeling a lot more manageable and also I know when I go to get her dressed and we're trying to hurry and get out the door or my husband's getting her dressed or grandparents are watching them and they need to grab something out of the closet, it's not going to be a struggle. It's not going to be putting on things that don't fit. I know they fit. I know we're good and it also gives me an idea of okay when springtime starts rolling around I know what I need to purchase, what basics we need, things like that because I leave all of my kids clothes out all year long. We travel a lot. I know that looks different for everybody but for us we do travel to warmer destinations a lot. We go to Disney a lot um, and so when it comes to that I need warm clothes still out. Now for her I keep all of her little sets that I 
let her wear on the daily and things that she can pick. That way she has a little independence of getting dressed. I have warm clothes, things that are seasonally appropriate at the bottom shelf here, but I don't have all of it down. So I have the rest of it up top where I can reach it. And then her things like a tank top, I don't want her wearing a tank top when it's 30 degrees outside. Like that's just, that's not seasonally appropriate. So I keep those up top instead. So just wanted to share that. I know that maybe for a very few people, but if you want to keep things for the next season, like, okay, she didn't grow out of this. I have a feeling it'll fit next spring or it'll fit in the summertime or whatever hold on to it. There's no point in getting rid of something just because it's not in season right now. So you can kind of keep that closet stocked. While my girls are downstairs having a snack and watching Alice in Wonderland, I've got a few minutes to work. So I'm going to try to tackle my two and a half year old closet, Bella's closet. So let's jump into this one. I've been down the darkest roads and up in the clouds, but I've always felt that something's missing. So that's gonna do it for Bella's room. I was able to tackle her closet and go through all of her hanging clothes. And then I went through her pants drawer, her pants and her shorts, got those all narrowed down to what she can actually wear. So that feels good. I know that she can fit into things that I'm pulling out of the closet. So that's nice. It doesn't make a whole like drama deal out of getting her dressed in the morning. So that is done. Now I've got to move downstairs to my closet. Um, probably gonna do a lunch break real quick. Then we'll pop back in with my closet. Um, it's not bad, but I'm just, I'm dreading it, but I also know I'm going to be so glad that I did it on the other side of it. So there's that. Okay. Now we're on to my closet. I don't, like I went through this just a few months ago, but I feel like it just needs another pass through. Um, and I just kind of do it as I feel like I can. So going through stuff and decluttering is such an emotional experience. And there's such a, a huge emotional element to those things. And so when you're going through it, sometimes you just have to say, no, I, I'm tapped out today. I have met my capacity of what I can do and you have to move on. And that was me with my closet. Like I, I did pretty good and I got it within the space that I wanted it to, but I'm like, okay, let's do another round. Let's see if we can get this a little bit smaller. Um, we can get it into the space just a little bit better a little more breathing room. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So let's jump into it. And then after this, I'm gonna show you how many bags I'm decluttering, which I'm very proud. Like I have a bag from each of the girls' closets and I'm like, it's like a big bag. Like 
I'm proud. Like, very proud. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. Like I've got a pretty decent stack going here that I am decluttering. So I'm very excited about that. Um, so I did that portion. I just need to do this like t-shirt area in the bottom and like kind of refix my bags here that are kind of falling down from that shelf underneath. I have some travel bags there. So just need to go through those. And that has my clothes looking so much better. It just feels better already knowing that I don't have so much stuff in there. Because I feel like we've all been there where you're like going through your closet and you're like, what do I even wear? What do I wanna wear? And you just don't know what that is. And you're sifting through all of these things that you're like culling and you're like going, swiping past. Um, and so you just, it's like, why do I even have this? If I'm just gonna like shuffle past it, why is it even in my closet? So that's kind of where I'm like honing in on today is trying to kind of downsize some of those things that I'm just like, you know what? I'm, I'm not wearing this. I'm not going to wear this. So let's just let's move it along. I just don't need all this extra stuff. Okay, that looks so much better and so much more manageable. I could still probably do a little bit more and I may as I'm like pulling things out and I'm like, eh, trying it on and not like deciding whether it fits or not. Uh, but I'm so happy with that. Looks so much better. The whole thing, I'm just, I'm very excited with the progress I've made today. So this is the situation. These are all of the clothes here. I need to put them in a big bag of some sort to take and donate. So those are all the clothes out of my closet. These are all the clothes out of Bella's closet. This is Lucy's and then these are things that I am going to sell and list on Poshmark. Um, so that's stuff I'm going to go through or sell in an Instagram stories or something like that. So those are going to be sold, but these are going to be donated. Um, so I am so excited with this progress. You guys, I just, I can't get over it and it just feels so good. But that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you got some cleaning motivation, decluttering motivation, and you are ready to get up and tackle your own to-do list or your own space that is causing you anxiety. I know these have made me breathe a sigh of relief just knowing that they're done and knowing when I go in there to get my girls dressed, get myself dressed, there's just not all of this extra chaos in clothes that I'm just not wearing month after month. And so I'm very, very excited about it, but I hope you can tackle a project and it can make you feel as good because I promise it is just, it's the best feeling. But thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, click the like button and the subscribe button down below and I will see you guys right back here in the next one. Bye.